Welcome back. Let's get started. All right, guys. So I work at this uh, old theater and been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here, and there's not supposed to be anybody here. So just double checking, but I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's the light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot, and, um, what the fuck? What is that? Hold on, let me get a better look. Oh shit! No one in here, hello? Okay. Probably set up. Uh, you couldn't see anything at first. He knew, seemed to know exactly where to look. There was no noise or anything that seemed to draw his attention to that area. Um, I'd say it's both. They're both fake. Uh, because my search is six and I won. I gave you six points. I'm deducting seven. This is ridiculous. Don't I'm make five. me think about numbers again. A brave and accurate decision. Yes, I, I captain. It's ridiculous. Don't make me think about no. This one's a little ridiculous. She actually ties the string to her hair all the way at the end of her hair. So whenever someone pulls it, it's actually pulling from below the top of the back of the couch. Whereas if someone were grabbing her hair, they would reach over the back of the couch and grab her hair. But it's tied below it. Um, thought that was interesting. I bet they didn't think about that. This Vietnamese heavy machine worker captured something terrifying. Let's take a look. opinion he needs to climb under there with a flashlight and make sure that he ain't got a co-worker or something trapped under that machinery <laughs> that's what it sounds like it don't sound like anything creepy it sounds like somebody's injured I caught it on film. Look at that cloud. I, that better not be fucking. Go get the gun. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? It shot a cloud out. Yeah, it did. They're shooting another one. I see it. I, see. I caught it. I caught it on film. I don't know. It's hard to comment on videos like this. That one kind of looks realistic, it kind of looks CGI. Do I believe it? No. Am I going to get eviscerated in the comments because I don't believe it? Yeah. But it just comes down to what what convinces you. Um, I don't know. There's there's a multitude of things with that video. And uh, like, a, like most of these, it comes down to the people that are filming. Um, if you really saw that, I think you'd have a much more animated reaction than, wow, dude, check that out. It just created a cloud. I just feel like you'd be a little bit more like, holy crap, call somebody, you know. Terrifying paranormal activity caught on cam.
fake um it's well done i'm entertaining for what it is but it's clearly a fake <clears throat> the the way that she slowly pans the camera up she was directed to do that that way by whoever created this uh if it wasn't her herself but uh it's it's just choreographed the slow pan up to the window with that flat with the high more high-powered flashlight um, and then right whenever she gets finished scanning the entirety of the backyard and seeing that there's nothing there That's when there's a bang on the door and the and it conveniently the screen goes black and she's <gasps> It's just too convenient. It's too many convenience and too much convenience in the scenario Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone I'm probably gonna turn around soon Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude, this trail going on forever. It just got really quiet really fast. Then get out of there. I don't know what that was, but <clears throat> uh, looks like something that they just digitally put in there. So I don't think the video is real. But um, if you're ever out in the woods and things get really, really quiet all of a sudden, start looking around. There's something else there and it's scaring everything else. You need to be scared too. There's something under there. Bro. Dude, please don't go down there. Oh my gosh. Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. I'll lower the sound so that doesn't get you like it just got me in the headphones. Stupid crap. I actually read something about this after the whole Katy Perry incident where she was having that whole like twitchy eye on stage and couldn't seem to get her eye to stay where she wanted it. Um... I heard that they're actually that this is a supposed side effect of Botox injections that it can cause nerve damage or something like that and create these issues. I don't know though. I've never had Botox. Just be a guy that's supposed to be peering out of, appearing out of nowhere. But that's clearly not what's happening. It's just a perspective thing. If it was filmed for two seconds before this, instead of just conveniently starting where it did, then you'd be able to see the guy walking beforehand 
or leaning against the wall. I don't know. Uh, some of you might not think so, but that looks digitally edited to me. Like the smoke that was walking up the hill, supposedly, looks a lot wider than the smoke that's coming out of the fire. Um, so, I don't know. Um, curious to know what y'all's thoughts and opinions are on that one. This man found a hole in the desert and decided to check it out. Here is what he found. Um. I don't know, maybe he found the entrance to some of those tunnels that are overseas that keep getting talked about in the news. This day. I don't know. You want to believe some stuff like this sometimes, but in all honesty, and this is not me being a skeptic, in all honesty, it looks like someone's taken uh, two shots together and then slowly just ter turned the opacity up and down on the second image to fade the girl in and out. That I mean, it looks that bad. It could have been much better. It could have been more well done. It's just not real unfortunately but that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you come back and see me tomorrow i'm gonna have another video up for you guys see you tomorrow